How's it going everyone? It's David here and I am at Sandcastle today. I'm here for one reason and one reason only and that is to get on Bombs Away which was a new for last year trap door body slide. Although every time I came to Sandcastle last year uh, that slide seemed to be closed so uh, hopefully it will be open today. And on top of that uh, see what they have done here around the park. Last year they did like a big revitalization and see if they've done anything more for this year. Let's go and get in the water and try to have some fun. Standing in front of Bombs Away, which was a new water slide that was added here to Sandcastle last year. And I finally got to ride it on this trip. In fact, I got two rides in on it. It is a trapdoor speed slide. Basically, you go into a capsule, you hear a countdown, and then the floor drops from under you. And then you have a brief moment of free fall before you fall down, you go into this helix, and then you splash down at the bottom. Uh, all of the trapdoor body slides that I have been on have been very, very scary. It's always uh, very in intimidating to have that floor drop uh, from below you. Uh, but for this one, I thought this was one of the best ones that I have done. The reason for that, uh, it was pretty smooth and it, it was intense enough, but not super intense. I've been on a couple where it definitely hurt uh, after going down on it. Uh, but this one, it was designed very, very well. And uh, overall, this is a great addition to Sandcastle. This is actually one of my favorite water slides here now. What do you think of Bombs Away, Brett? It was mildly exciting. So just behind me is Lightning Express. Uh, as a lot of Pittsburghers probably call it, it's the big yellow slide. And I still think this is the scariest slide here and definitely the most thrilling and the most intense. Um, unlike Bombs Away, it's a pretty rough landing, but man, it is a free fall. And honestly, one of my favorite speed slides because instead of just doing an immediate drop off, there is a tunnel straight away just before you drop off and you get a very unique view of the Monongahela River across from it. It's a very good slide and uh, do not discount these uh, two orange slides right next to it. Um, also very good. You get a lot of speed, even a little bit of air time. Obviously not as big but still definitely a lot of fun and again some of my favorite water slides here at Sandcastle. Wet. <laughs> on the way to Wet Willies and uh, just underneath Lightning Express, Sandcastle has added a very small arcade. I see some claw machines, uh, some old school arcade machines, and even a couple newer ones. Uh, nothing to write home about, but it is uh, definitely something nice to have here. So behind me is subjectively the best water slide here at Sandcastle, and that is cliffhangers. Uh, this is a very rare type of tube water slide. 
Uh, it is filled with a total of three sky poles. So basically, if you like the thrill of dropping off a water slide and into a pool and doing that multiple times, that is what Cliffhanger is. And it's a lot of fun. And because there's multiple pools, it more or less acts like block zones. So it's a very high capacity water slide and almost never has a line. And if it does, it moves very, very quickly. Uh, I really enjoy this one. Again, this is definitely my favorite water slide here. So this is Boardwalk Blasters, and it definitely doesn't look like much. It's just two little dips. But as you can see, there is a huge drop off into a 12 foot pool. So if you like that free fall sensation into a deep water pool, uh, this is definitely the slide for you. Uh, again, this was a type of slide that used to be uh, pretty common at pools and water parks, but you don't see too often anymore. And uh, this is a really good water slide, short but sweet. I still cannot get over that the blue tubaluba is now green. I said this last year, but can't get over it. <laughs> New here at Sandcastle, they brought the golden nugget from Kennywood. Uh, which is home to the famous dip cone ice cream. Over here at the walkers, there are some murals. One advertising the beer at the poolside, Sandy. Hot and delicious potato patch fries. I really like this one, showing different characters from Kennywood and Idlewild. I know over here I see the Phantom, Kenny Kangaroo, Noah, the Turtle, looks like Red Riding Hood, a Wild Mouse car from Idlewild, Ricky Raccoon, and a spider. Uh, I assume that's the spider from either Idlewild or the Black Widow at Kennywood. Yeah, I like that one. This is the mushroom, as in the mushroom pool here the Chamber of Commerce. And yes, there are shark-free waters, which is very good. And take the plunge on the water slide capital of the world. That's an exaggeration. That might be an exaggeration, but this is actually an old reference to a phrase that Kennywood used to use, because they used to call themselves the roller coaster capital of the world. Dragon's Den is a standard toilet bowl tube slide, but these are a ton of fun. As you can see, there's quite a big drop right at the start. You gain a lot of speed, and then you circle around the toilet bowl two or three times before going uh, into a tube in the middle, coming out here at the bottom. Um, they have recently removed the dragon from inside of the toilet bowl, and he is now outside as part of the entrance and sprays water on guests. There's even some growl sound effects. But instead, there is now a new dragon inside, and he definitely looks more menacing, and there's skulls everywhere. Can't really show you in here without uh, climbing the tower, but uh, definitely a nice touch. The Monsunami Wayful is uh, definitely a highlight here at Sandcastle, although it could be a hit or miss. They have uh, varying wave cycles. Right now, it looks like some pretty good whitewater waves, uh, but they also have bobbing waves and 
a couple others that I can't think of right now. Uh, some of them are pretty good, some of them are pretty average, but when it's good, it's very good. Over here at the Bridge Bar and Grill, they added some AstroTurf, a ping pong table, and cornhole. And that's gonna do it from a visit here to Sandcastle. I would say a very successful day. Um, I can't think of the last time I've been here and every single water slide uh, was open. In fact, we got on all of them uh, pretty quickly early in the day. That's a pro tip. If you wanna come here and you wanna try to get on everything, come here as soon as the park opens. I would say like for the first two and a half hours, we got on things uh, pretty easily. Uh, the lines definitely built up later into the day. Uh, but uh, definitely a good time here at Sandcastle. It looks very fresh. I said this last year, but they even made some uh, more minor improvements throughout the park that uh, I definitely commend. Highlight of the day was definitely getting on Bombs Away, a very good, fun, and exhilarating water slide. And uh, yeah, hopefully I could be back uh, maybe this year, uh, maybe next year, but uh, definitely a place to check out. And it's very close to Kennywood as well. It was pretty good. This was probably the first time we've been there and they open everything at opening time which is something that they didn't even do back when Kenny would open the park. Uh, the outside of the park looks really good in terms of the new food stands, the paint on the rides, things like that. Uh, some of the inside stuff like the bathrooms could use some love but overall we had a pretty good day and this park is looking like it's going in the right direction. So guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it and subscribe for more content and with that being said thank you all for riding and I will see you next time.